Hi there Capricorn, this is your reading with me for Soulmates for July 2020. I hope you are doing well. So we are going to have a look and see what is coming through for you and this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So definitely check out your other sign readings if you want more information for July. My gosh, the cards look so messy. I do really honestly apologise. I was cleansing them and they just, they get very messy when I do that. So we have the cards right here. This is Trip and Wait. Also, I do want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is my intention items are on my Etsy store. So I'm wearing a few of, well, a couple of the bracelets, should I say, right here. I'm also wearing a soulmate one. Um, as well so definitely do check those out if you're interested they are handmade they're meditated with and they're saged and they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life the review section is also on there if you want to see how other people have seen results with them international shipping and as I mentioned the link is down below there's necklaces crystals bracelets uh, there's also intention cards which you can put under your pillow in your wallet or your purse and they're hand embroidered by me <laughs> so everything is always down there let's begin Capricorn, Capricorn, how are you doing today Capricorn? Let me know, let me know, let me know. The word card, ooh, ooh, okay, seven of wands, all right. So, um, <laughs> it doesn't want to stay, there we go. Ace of swords, let's just push that along. Wow, the cards are not cooperating, usually they, they will listen to me, but today they are they are not really, they have a mind of their own. There we go, there we go. No worries. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing, right? We've got Saturn energy with the world card, which I know you can't see too well, but you know, we got a, we got a little bit of the world card right there, ta-da. Okay, so Saturn energy here really does show that between you and your soulmate, um, I see the sense of um, struggle, which then brings satisfaction. To me, that's what um, July is really showing me, especially with the fact that, you know, July is number seven, so seventh month, we've got here the seven of wands, right? Seven of wands is about challenges and struggles. And seven is also about reflection, right? So to me, there is going to be some form of a struggle in July that leads to satisfaction, which to me, I feel like maybe your soulmate sort of becomes a little bit more withdrawn, or maybe they take space, or maybe they say something, and then there's an apology for it. Or there is this sense of, you know what, let's resolve things. Let's just, you know, make things work. And that's what I see. Or maybe if you've been dealing with a soulmate who has been quite problematic or just difficult to deal with, I see here in July a sense of, you know what, let's resolve this. Let's talk, let's talk this through with honesty and let's trust each other and, you know, try and make things work. So there is a struggle to satisfaction. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> so struggle to satisfaction and the ability to try and resolve something. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't realize which card I was like waving around, but it's a lover's card, which is quite significant. Okay. 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 All right. I, mm -hmm. mind blown. Okay. So we've got the lovers. <laughs> the lovers. The lovers here goes to show that your soulmate really, really feels you energetically. They can't shift that energy, right? If you're dealing with someone that you have had a complicated situation with or a complicated history with, they are understanding in July, you know what, there's a reason why I could never forget about this person. There's a reason why I never stopped thinking about this person. They are realizing that more than ever. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop, they won't stop. There is a very strong spiritual connection here. Remember, soulmate connections um, are also very divine. So you've got an angel there as well. Now, if you're really struggling in regards to this connection, pray to your angels and your guides and they will give you that energy. They will give you those answers that you're looking for in your dreams, through signs, synchronicities. They will try their absolute best to try and give you as much information as they can in their own way. But they are there for you, right? They are there for you. You can trust that they are there for you. So the lovers here goes to show that your soulmate is just, they, they, July is a time of realization and reflection where they're thinking, wow, I was never really able to let go of this particular person. There's a reason to that. 
And that's why I see them wanting to resolve things, because they know that you're special, and they know they're not going to find someone like you. So struggle to satisfaction. The world card here is also about completion. That makes total sense when we look at the spread so far, of course. Got the nine of pentacles. That is the completion, right? This, this is very much so, I mean, even though it is the completion, it's not necessarily the end of the um, journey, right? It, it still goes forward. So to me, this is a continuation, but it's still a sense of completion. It's about feeling satisfied in that moment. So there's going to be something that happens in July that leads you to be satisfied, whether it's working things out, resolving things, having communication, or at least having that inner sense of peace and knowing that, you know what, okay, things are going to be okay. Um, that's what's coming through. Also with the Nine of Wands, your soulmate is thinking about you like crazy. Crazy. Because this is about thinking, pondering, wondering, reflecting, and also potential in progress. You've got the Ace of Cups and also the King of Wands. So the King of Wands, again, shows that they really want, I mean, they really want to pursue you and take things further forward. Trust me when I say this person knows your value. They know your value. They know that you are special. They know that you are kind. They know that you are caring. Oh, they know. Can we just talk about the fact that we've got here the lovers, we've got the ten of pentacles, we've got the ace of cups, we've got the two of cups. These are some of the most romantic cards in tarot that you have in your spread. In an energy where I also see some form of a challenge. It's so telling. It just goes to show that even though there is this struggle that's coming through, there is also this sense of satisfaction and this very pure loving energy, which is, again, really interesting. And to be honest, um, from what the cards, you know, everything that we have at this very point in time, for this entire spread, because we're done with the spread now, I just have to lay it all out. These are not extremely problematic cards. They're not problematic to the point where I would be worried and I would think, oh no, right? So we've got the Magician, Magician's ruled by Mercury, we've got the Two of Cups as I mentioned, also we've got the Ace, right, so the Ace to the Two is natural progression, also Seven of Pentacles as I mentioned, you know, Sevens in Tarot indicate reflection, also Seventh Month, so we see a lot of that reflection here. We also have the Emperor and the Hanged Man, now remember also that um, the Hanged Man is ruled by Neptune and we also have a Neptune retrograde which started right at the end of June, so We've got a Neptune retrograde now for many months, and this to me here is also again showing reflection, awakenings, enlightenment. Your soulmate is going through a phase of enlightenment, understanding your value, understanding and having realizations, and really just realizing that wow, okay, I feel something strong towards this person, I need to pursue them before I lose them. It's it's a sense of also, is it desperation? I mean, I would you do you know what? I feel like it could be you know, where you suddenly realise, like, oh my god, this is valuable, I need to go after it. It's a little bit like the whole pandemic, right? And people were just going after toilet rolls. They were desperate for it. They, they, <laughs> I don't know why, okay, I don't know why. In a situation like that, I, I, don't, I don't think you necessarily need, um, you know, boxes and boxes and boxes or crates of it. Um, you know, it was, it, it was unnecessary, because it's not like the world's going to magically run out of that. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just described you um, as, as, well, I didn't really compare you to, you know, that, but it, it's more so this energy of, like, understanding the value of something and then needing to do it before you, like, lose out completely on it, so that's what they're thinking, like, oh my gosh, this person is valuable, I really like this person, I feel like this person loves you, I'm just gonna say it, okay, I've, I've dropped the word and I'm not gonna take it back because you've got the lovers there, they love you, they desire you and they want to pursue you with their heart and their soul and their mind, right? Especially with the hangman. They're understanding and learning as the days go by that you are very special. And there's a reason they have not been able to let you go because there's such a special connection. See, we've got another angel at the top of this card as well. And this angel here is ruled by Venus, the one in the Two of Cups. We've also got the Magician as well, right? And this is about them wanting to make things happen, wanting to progress things and pursue things with you. Magician is ruled by Mercury. Now, for half of July, Mercury's in retrograde until the 12th of July. And then for the rest of July, Mercury is direct. So again, it goes to show that, you know, there's this sense of struggle to satisfaction that's also coming through and them wanting to bloom and grow things, not bloom and grow things. Well, it's that energy of them wanting to allow for growth and progression, 
you know, with bloom and growth, that's what I meant. So that is what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, but they love you. Let me just say that. So this is your reading. Now, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, pre-reading giveaway, and of course, my intention items, which are on Etsy, and do take care.